Hey, it's your art teacher, Jojo Shabadoo, and today we're going to have a little fun with some symmetry. So these are just some simple little things that you can do with paper to do some little tricks, make some fun things using symmetry. So first thing I'm going to do is fold this the long way. And then I'm going to open it back up and fold it the short way. All right. Then I'm going to go back to where it's folded the long way. Now it's important to know which side is the inside and which side is the outside. So I'm going to fold this one more time and now this part is the inside and this part is the outside right here where the inside is and right here where the halfway point is I'm just gonna make a little eye shape or half of an eye shape I should say right because when I open it back up it looks like that and then if I open it back up again, it looks like this. So we have kind of some little eyes there. Okay, so how am I going to make the rest of the face? What I want to do, I'm going to fold it again, and I'm going to take the bottom here and bring it up to halfway. So I've got another fold here that is halfway from the middle point to the bottom, right there. And I'm just going to make a little cut here, and then I'm going to curl the cut, and that's going to be the nose. So you have a little nose sticking out here. All right. For the mouth, I'm just going to take the bottom and fold it to that line right where we just made the nose and then I can just make sure it's the inside here See, if you cut it to the outside you'll just have cuts here and here and it won't be in the middle where it's supposed to be so I'm going to cut right underneath where the nose is and just make a little curved line here and another curved line below it and make them meet and now I have the rest of the face. Okay, so I'm, I want to round off the uh, chin here and the top of the head. So I'm going to fold it back to the middle here. Start with the top of the head. Now I don't want to cut off this edge because that's the inside. I actually want to cut off the edge that's the outside. And you can either start here and cut to here or start here and cut to here. But make sure it's the outside and not the inside. And I'm just going to round off that corner there. That way the head is round, right? And I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Start where, below where the mouth is there and just round this off. Maybe make it a little bit... Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right. Now, if you want, you could actually make the nose fold a little bit. I could start here and put my hands underneath it and try to fold it from this point here to that point there. That's a little bit tricky, right? See how I did that? And I could do the same thing on the other side. Fold it from here to there. You can even run your thumb along there like I'm doing to make the nose stick out a little bit better. Another way to make the nose stick out a little bit better is to make the top part of the mouth here go back in. So I'll poke that inside and what I do is I put two fingers right here and I push this part in, right? And then I fold it 
like that. That makes this part stick inside and it makes that part pop out a little more. Okay, so I could actually try and do some other stuff like putting ears on there, but I think this is good for now because I want to show you guys how to do a snowflake or just to do a little radial symmetry design like we did before. Now a snowflake is a little bit tricky so I'm going to start off by just doing a radial symmetry with our four lines of symmetry. All right, so I'm going to start the same way I did with the last one. Fold it this way and then while it's folded I'm going to fold it from here to here. So I've got this inside edge, folded edge, this inside folded edge, and then these are the outside ones. I want to take this edge here and bring it over, a little crease there, bring it over to this folded edge. Now you could try to experiment with this. You could maybe fold it again if you wanted to, but you want to always fold it to where it's folded from the middle. So if we look at this, that is the very middle of the page. Those are our lines of symmetry. Now I can cut it any way I want, but this part here is kind of extra. These are the edges of the paper on one side, and then these are the edges of the paper on the long side. I really want them to all be the same, so I'm just going to cut this off right along that line. Now I can cut these any way I want except for I want to make sure I leave a little bit in between my cuts. So you can just cut this however you like. Just make some random little cuts there. Just remember every cut you make is going to be repeated. And I don't want, I can cut off the corner there but I want to leave a little bit here. I don't want to cut too much off there. So maybe I'm just going to cut a little slash here like this, like that. Maybe I'll make this curve a little bit. That didn't curve very well. There, like that. Maybe I'll make a nice sort of round shape here. That's not very round, is it? Let's try again. There we go. But I want to make sure I leave a little bit here and here. And if I put something on the inside here, maybe just something small, I want to make sure I leave a little bit here and here. Because those are the parts that are going to be together. Now when I open this, you'll see we've got symmetry. Symmetry. More symmetry and more symmetry. So this one has four lines of symmetry. A snowflake is a little bit harder to fold because you actually have to have six lines of symmetry. Well, if you fold in half and then fold in half again, you end up with four lines of symmetry. In order to get six lines of symmetry, you actually have to fold it into a triangle, and that is a little bit tricky. So I fold it in half, but then I want to find the middle here. All right, find the middle. You can do it by, like this, and just instead of folding it all the way, I just make a little bump there. Just a little crease right there so I know that this is the middle. And I'm going to put my finger here on this part and bring this over. I want to bring it about halfway. Now if you look, from here to here, this angle is about the same as from here to here. And this looks kind of like a triangle. Now if I get it just right, it will be exactly a triangle. That means if I bring this over this one, it should match up with this folded edge here. And this inside should match up with the folded edge here. Now it's a little bit off, so what I like to do is I like to put my finger inside this fold, 
and I like to grab onto this one and I pull this one and just roll this one a little bit pull and roll and pull and roll until it looks like they're all the same I have to get that one right from the beginning there and just kind of roll it a little bit I haven't really creased it too much yet once I see that they're all equal with each other the folded edges and the outside edges are even you see I've got a nice triangle here looks like a regular equilateral triangle all the sides are the same all the angles are the same so that gives us three lines of symmetry if I double that and fold it one more time I'm going to fold it on this side bring this edge to here This will give us our six lines of symmetry. All right, and now you have the triangle is folded in half. Now I've got all of this extra stuff up here. I don't need that. If I cut it straight along this edge here, I will have a hexagon. When I open this up, it should be a hexagon. Right? And you can see we've got 12 lines there, which will give us 6 lines of symmetry. So fold it back. This side goes down first, this side over. And now we do the same thing that we did before. You cut it randomly. It doesn't have to be randomly, but you don't have to really think too much about how you cut it. What I like to do is I like to repeat the angles that I already have. So I've got a line going this way, a line going this way, and a line going this way. So I can repeat those angles. Right? A line that way, a line that way. Well, that didn't work. There we go. So this angle, this angle, maybe that angle again, maybe this angle at the top. Okay, and another angle there. That one's not the same, but that's all right. It can be random. But again, you want to make sure you leave a little bit. Leave a little bit here. If you cut all the way through there, there won't be anything to hold the snowflake together when you're finished. Okay, so now is the fun part. To open it up. You see... The symmetry and there is six lines of symmetry okay now remember make sure you clean up all those little bits of paper on the floor you just made <laughs> and have fun with making symmetry see you later bye